He's moving. Hack on? Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. <laughs> Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hack on, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah. My head. You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fisheye. The fisheye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. Monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it... Uh, stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you turn. You need a biomarker. And I know where to find one. Come on. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, hey? You're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, hack on. <laughs> she adores me. <sighs> Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I was a pilgrim. An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on, let's go. Not bad. 
Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center, past the chemical dumps. Uh, I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protect it like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. It's my specialty. Where's the tunnel? <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. You won't get far without a biomarker. You are a threat to everyone. And you've already seen how people in Villador react to a threat. Well, can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. I could help you, but... You need a biomarker. You won't get far without it. Where are you from? Pretty far, I guess. About 2,000 kilometers. Oh, shit. How the heck did you not get infected? That's easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran. They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome. Paradise. Over here. Oh, you do know the moves. I was in the military. Your special unit? For seven years. I even liked it, except when I didn't. For insubordination, got blacklisted and they zeroed my bank account. Ended up driving a cab. Ouch! Now the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Fuck you! At least I got to know my way around the city. Oh, come on! You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better. If you survive, of course. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys. But one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. <laughs> then welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in him. Check it out. I'll wait. People hide a lot of things in places like this. In case someone can't make it back to a shelter before dark. What's that? Crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you.
Come on, come on. Stop. So, you have an army here? The peacekeepers. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. Tell me more about them. They consider themselves righteous protectors. Uh, they are good at killing infected, so you got to give them credit for that. Yeah, pretty efficient killers. Yeah, but their righteousness comes with a price. Always remember this. You either play by their rules or you're fucked. Their protection of the bazaar is more like an occupation. I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar, folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. Hey, are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure. Follow me. Almost there. I hope there are no surprises. It's getting dark. They are about to wake up. Quickly, open the chest. In return, we'll get your biomarker. Fuck. Thieves. Wait. No, 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 leave it. Mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I can't say much, but a former GRE scientist, Dylan, gave it to me. A guy named Waltz killed him. And before he died, Dylan gave me the key to keep it from Waltz. Contains important information, apparently. I hope to find out more at the fisheye. We'll have to see, won't we? <sighs> Fuck me. We took too long. Plan B. Run like hell. Find the UV lamp. The bazaar. We can make it. Follow me. Quick. They're close. Go on. Stand in the light. Uh, hack on. Uh... Come on, open up now. Oh, shit, there's a lot of them. Fuck. Biomarkers. Oh, come on, stop being such a bastard already. Biomarkers. Come on, help me. I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. Uh. 
How about some electronics, huh? Fucker! Open up! Oh, oh, oh. Piece of... We need to get to Killian. There's no time! Run, Aiden! <laughs> Quick! They almost got us! Don't look back! Run! Faster! There's more and more of them, Aiden! Killian, it's me. Open up. Your friends here, huh? Killian, keep them busy. Killian, fuck, Killian, come on. Killian, you trip over my body this morning and get killed. Yes, Stop them. Fight them. <laughs> Let me in! Not like this. Shit, there's a lot of them. You pay for this one day! You pay oh, he did it. I doubt we're done. Trouble loves company. Back on, get us in there! I'm trying. Kill him! I know you're there! <laughs> Is that all of them? I think so. Help me. Oh, we're so fucked. God damn it, Gillian! Should have waited a while longer. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. They've left, so can you. Oh come on, stop being such a bastard already! Look at this. Where did you? That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. Who is this? I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything. Just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to... Ah, oh, forget it. Doesn't matter anymore.
What are you up to, Hakon, huh? I gave him an inhibitor. He survived. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. <sighs> Motherfucker. The hospital, then. I was hoping to avoid it. Always looking for an easy way, huh, Hakon? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hakon, why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass. <sighs> Idiot. We used to help people, remember? Sure, I remember, you moron. But no. You wanted something else. Higher fucking causes. And you can just... cook. Biomarkers. Why are they so hard to get? Because they're complicated devices. Hell, the factories that made them have been out of commission for years. Biomarkers are keyed to blood. They can't be reused after someone sinks with it. Without them, the infection runs unchecked. Like what's happened to you. That's why people pay a fortune to get a new one. All the money and crystals they have. Fortunately, me and Hakon found a place where they can still be made. Where can I rest? So you just got into town. What brought you here? This ain't the promised land. Far from it. I need to get to the fisheye. And Hakon's helping you get there? You seem like a good kid, but... Take my advice. Don't go doling out trust like penny candy. Hell, how do you know you can trust me? Okay, enough jabber. Go to sleep. Nothing to be done till morning anyway. funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke. Broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one.
And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? out of the hospital while it's night time. There will be a lot of infected here in the morning.
lock is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. At the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Hey, this way. Big building, huh? Do you already took over quite a few of these for drug research? When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. <laughs> they paid them loads of money. What was the result? Yeah. A lot of shit. <laughs> Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lock picks out of that. Stuff. I had no other choice. I was forced to know my stuff. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Hey! <laughs> 
idea, Mia. If it was a good one, it wouldn't be fun. What are you doing? Mia, not on the wall. Stop talking and give me your hand. Everything okay? Yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. This hospital. I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility. Well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these... these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. I told you about Waltz before. <laughs> Mentioned something. Yeah. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. Uh, look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm hmm Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. <sighs> he wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But, well, the world is full of shitheads.
Be careful. It's not stable. Come on. So... Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. Can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Neighbors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. <clears throat>
find you, you're dead. Aiden! Aiden, but Aiden, quick! This way to the kitchen. We'll eat all the ice cream they hid from us. I'm scared, Mia. Yeah, me too. And I'm younger. Don't be a chicken, Aidy. What if the doctor sees us? He won't. Besides, he'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. Don't be a chicken, Aidy. Took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm waiting. Are you in one piece? You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. You're about to turn! Get into the light fast! Close. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there'll be time for that, once I find her. Once you find her? Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. 
I like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me, right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Ville d'Or. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. See the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Uh huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. This child 
into thy realm. Yeah! Your eyes are bloodshot. Did you spend the night outside? Did you hear? They're having a tournament at Carnage Hall. you're going what a day no freaking way I can do it five years of learning and all work for something easy money I tell you have to get it right hey, kid. aren't you that pilgrim don't recognize me or are you allergic to making money listen pilgrim we can make a killing you and me you just need to get me some beets radishes parsnips there he is Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Bevan says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar! Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen, he lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. How's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Yeah, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. Know anything? 
anything about it, Aiden? Hopefully. I'm looking for work. I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Wait. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the surplus. Mum, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes, and not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. I ain't leaving the bazaar. Five years of learning and all for nothing. I just have to get it right this time. Got a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Someone's got to take care of the lighter. Load. It's been 11 years since the chemical bomb was killed. Hakon. Ah, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So you... Brought me here to take a look at the peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. So we can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Ugh. <sighs> 
Huh? Hack on it. There's a creature I haven't seen before. What does it look like? Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels.
hack on. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. <sighs> Inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Come from. He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone.
Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around, ask people, and don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. Hack on. Are you there? Hey then, buddy. Could you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. It didn't kill you. Otherwise Meet me outside. Help us in the investigation. We'll help Welcome you with the bandits. Villador's PK command center. Nobody in the bazaar has anything to do with his death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? Stop spinning your wheel. So, what did they want from you? Ader said he might let me through to the center. If I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. 
probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep, apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. If you catch him, tell Yeah, sure. Ah! Packard, he's running away. Nah, sounds like Hubie. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. I saw him running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. He's running away. Nah, sounds like Hubie. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Our soul's running to the northeast. I feel proud to be wearing this uniform. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him.
About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. And don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, hack on. Hubert said some someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? You want money? No. I'll give you money. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro.
Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. What? You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. Do you expect me to just hand that brass Hoosie what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie what's its real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water, and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway.
Yeah, hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay.
think I've seen everything. Something new crops up. A prick game of checkers? Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. I did what she wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me? Or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Howdy, citizen. Welcome to Old Villador's PK Command Center.
I'm not an opera fan, but I do appreciate some classy carnage. We're gonna make you so. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street... 
I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. Fighting for five years now, and still no invitation to climb the walls. Uh, Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. 